Hey, what's up, Dave? <laughs> what's going on, man? Uh, not much. Just trying to do another live painting, but this one's even bigger than the last one. Dude, where are you going to stop? You're going to have, like, the whole wall at some point. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You have to get a wide-angle lens so that you can fit the whole canvas in the screen. <laughs> I just literally spent 15 minutes trying to figure out where, how to put the stupid camera in the room. Uh, I think you're right. <laughs> uh, what are you filming on the iPad again? or? This time I'm filming on that Windows 7 tablet. Cool. Yeah. Is the screen quality all right? Yeah, it's good. Okay, sweet. I'm just trying to figure out if this is going to work. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. What's, this, what's the subject? Yeah, I'll show you. It's from a photo shoot um, last week. And I always put my images. I, I bought a touchpad and I use it as my image. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Okay. So. Cool. Actually, the cropping that you see right there is exactly how I've drawn it. But I don't know if I need to redraw it to capture a little more of this sweeping yellow at the bottom. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You like that picture, huh? My daughter likes the picture. She likes it? Yeah. Awesome. You like it, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the other picture. You like the other picture, too, over here? Yeah. Yeah. She likes the one that's to your left. Oh, yeah. The one of the, the masquerade. Yep. This is right, this is left. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, um, dude, I didn't really invite very many people. I just basically invited the digital people when I went to. I don't like that painting. <laughs> you don't like that painting? <laughs> it's not done yet. It's just started. Oh. oh. <laughs> He's painting it on, on the computer. He's going to show us. He's a really good painter. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. Oh, you want to you wanna show one of your paintings from the porch that you just did today? Go get your painting. Yeah, this is, this is good. Real collaboration here. <laughs> I should, I'll put you on speaker. Oh, there she is. Oh, man, I love that. You hear that, Natalie? He loves it. You want to show the other one, too? Okay. There's the other one. I, I paid it just like Goofy. I painted it just like Goofy. <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and now we put them back. Oh, there's more. Oh. Uh, we've got the gallery exhibition here. I think this is the last one. All right, hurry up. <laughs> this is the last one. How old is she? She's four. Perfect. Man, the four-year-olds know so much about art. It's crazy. It's true. It's true. Yeah, they're, they're brilliant. It's like we go through a stage of getting worse and worse and worse at art. And that, that most awful moment in all of our lives at, at being artists is junior high school. <laughs> <laughs> Coincides with the most awful part of all of our lives, you know? And then... All right, let's see this one. Oh, dude. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful line quality. Oh, it's so awesome. Make Picasso jealous. All right, Natalie, that's enough paintings. <laughs> hey, you got... Okay, okay, one more. Hurry up. Hurry up. Just the last one? Okay. That's not the last one. Jeez. How many do you have back there? <laughs> well, I hope mine has as nice a visual balance as that one does. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. 
I know they, this is the last one. Whatever you bring out, that's it. He's a busy guy. He wants to paint his own painting. <laughs> All the way in the corner. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> Invite, let me know. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, Google Plus has been dead the last like day and a half for some reason. Yeah. What's up, Mohammed? This one. This one's. This one's so beautiful. Hey, how you doing, Daniel? Good it's all green. Hey, Dave. It's, it's like Mark. Like beautiful. <laughs> he says it's beautiful too. All right, our show's over now. That's the last painting, okay? Why don't you put them all back now? All right. Hey, uh, you got it. Uh, let me know if you want me to invite anyone else. I honestly just invited the Digital Painting 101 group, and just because you guys have been the ones doing painting, so um, I'm gonna probably just try to get this thing blocked in with my darks, and then uh, you know, just feel free to chat as I'm painting. I, I think it's quiet enough here at the studio today that I can talk and paint. Cool. All right. Cool. Is that a bracelet for um, balance? Yeah, I honestly think they're total crap, but my stock is <laughs> the bottom and I got one for free, so I can. <laughs> it, was like, it was like part of being on the team, you know? <laughs> Many people have that bracelet. The only reason I wanted it kind of looks like a Lipstrom bracelet. Look how Daniel paints with one hand in the pocket and one hand brushing it. Uh, cool. he, he paints like such a boss, doesn't he? That's like style, <laughs> eh? like a boss. That's awesome. He paints, it's, so, it's so cool to watch him because he just paints so fast. The other, the other time he was purposely painting super fast. Alright, we'll get, we'll get going here, alright? <laughs> do whatever you want to do. Don't do it for me, man. Just do your thing. Because last time you went so fast that you were off by an inch. Yeah, this time I have to be a little more... Oh, you, you, you didn't publicize this. Like, um, share it to the public. Well, the Hangout's shared to, like, 50 people, but the video is shared public. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. Oh, let me check. Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. But I was asking, uh, can you guys hear me when I talk from up there? Yep. Yep. Okay. I didn't know if the mic was directional or not, but um, I, there was a guy who was asking for the full screen link, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Is that Dave can put that on a chat. Yeah. You should you should get one of those Bluetooth headsets. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Someone sent that to me before. It's kind of cool. There's an extension now to get the to be able to get the link and stuff like that. To be able to do what? No, I said there's an extension they have now that you can easily get that link for the big video and stuff. Oh, sweet! It's called like Better Hangouts, I think.
I have a strange feeling like he's drawing Chikavera or something like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nice. Awesome. So Daniel, is your left arm a lot stronger than your right arm? Me? Yeah, is your left arm a lot stronger than your right arm? From all the all the painting oh, Actually, this is my uh, right. Oh, it's oh, it's reversed. Okay. Weird. That, that's weird. I'll paint with my left for a little while though. <laughs> no, I thought I thought you were lefty. That's funny. Um, with painting, I'll do both, but um, yeah, with everything else, I'm right-handed. Oh. Try some left hand painting for a while. <laughs> so now your so your left is the with the bracelet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, it's flipped. I'm sure it's exactly what the uh, people watching wanted to know. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> This one's kind of complicated. There's so many things going on, so I'm just trying to kind of remind myself what I'm doing and putting little hints of color here and there. Just because uh, if I was painting this, you know, not on a hangout, I'd probably um, have been just a little more careful in my planning, but I was like, yeah, let's just do it, you know. And um, yeah, so at the beginning, of, again, I put everything on one inch too far to the other side, to the right. I'm just putting in my little mark and say, hey, remember this? Do you remember this? But uh, now it should go more quickly. Cool.
So how many brushes do you have going at any one t particular time? Um, usually I'll just use um, one brush for the first stage, and then I have a bunch of, let me show you. My favorite brushes for oil painting are these Robert Simmons Signet brushes. Let's see if I can get that to Okay. Is that showing? Yep. And these are all between 5, 8, and 11, uh, but the brush I'm painting with is a, a number 12. So as far as width goes, it's, uh, it's about a, a little bit broader than two fingers. So everything you've done so far is just with that one brush? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, the bigger the better, I think. I, with both digital and traditional, I use the biggest, nastiest brushes possible, right? Because you can always hone in later and do the detail and all that, right? Yeah, yeah. In, in a way, it's just, um, this is kind of what I was writing about in the book today, is that, uh, you know, life's just got all this overwhelming amount of detail and data. You know, and all that. like, my mom is always programming, and he has to decide which, which data that he wants to collect. There's an infinite amount of stuff out there, right? And almost inconceivable amount of stuff. So if he's doing a program or he's doing credit, creating a script or he's creating a plugin or an extension, similar to a painting, I have, there's an infinite amount of data in this image, and I have to say, well, what, what is the data that's essential for what I'm trying to accomplish? And so it's as much about uh, turning tuning out as it is tuning in, you know? Like when you turn the radio station, this is the analogy I'm speaking of today, when you turn the, turn the radio station, you're really tuning out all the other crap so that you can hear the one thing you want, right? And uh, and that's kind of what it is like in painting in the beginning. There's so much stuff. I can't, I can't even deal with it. So I need to tune out all that stuff, all of that, you know, that I don't need, and just try to capture my dark shapes, my dark values, and, um, and the way I remind myself is and to don't don't use any details with this guy. <laughs> cool. So get some big stuff. Thanks for the explanation. <laughs> yeah, Mohammed, what are you what are you writing today? You're muted, Mo. I think. Oh, uh, actually, <laughs> sorry. My thing got muted here. Okay. Um, actually, nothing. I'm just watching you now and 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 that's it. Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not planning to do any coding today. Not at all. Cool. Yesterday, I was trying to do three different coding. I, I might do something today. I might I might learn something new. So we'll see. Cool. Because my grandfather passed away two days ago on Thursday, oh. so sure. it's been really busy. Yeah. So I'm not online that much. I'm not doing any posts. I'm not doing anything. I'm just like I'm. I'm just taking a break right now. <laughs> Dimmering black. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough, yeah. but it's life. Yeah. Sorry. This makes me happy, right? Art makes me happy. So you're making me happy right now. All right. I'll, I'll keep it going then. <laughs> awesome.
the thing for me that's hard today is the last painting I did was three foot by three foot, and it was huge. Um, and I think this one is four and a half by three foot. So <laughs> like each time I make color, I have to make so much paint. Uh. <laughs> What's the biggest painting you've ever done? Um, I did a, a that did, that wasn't that wasn't part of a wall. Like, like, what's the biggest canvas you've ever done? Well, sometimes I paint on board, like a masonite board, and um, I built I built uh, uh, let's see what was it? It was four feet high by sixteen feet long. Wow. Uh, I, there was this really wealthy family that asked me to come up to their, basically to their orchard and paint a, a big Tuscan vineyard scene. Uh, and it was on this, these three large panels and uh, involved all of these kind of familial references. They had um, this little silhouette of their daughter walking under this. Grave Arbor and you know all kinds of little family, like family trademarks in there and um, that was that was a big project. But other than that, like the biggest canvas I've ever hand built, I mean from scratch was uh, four foot by six foot, and you know where you go out to the lumber yard and plane down raw lumber and the whole bit, but. Done a, I've done a handful of, of really big canvases like that, but the biggest was that mural for sure. What's your favorite size to work with? Like, what's your most common canvas size? Um, looking around, I, I guess probably for studies, I like 16 by 20 or uh, 20 by 24. I like 20 by 24 for studies, and I like 2 foot by 2 foot or 3 foot by 3 foot. I really like the square compositions right now. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, so the palette's taking me forever, man. I have to scoop just bucket loads of paint. Look how you have to paint. You have to like always get new paint every sec, every two seconds. Yeah, uh, uh, right. It's an art rage. Art. art rage is so much easier. God bless art rage. <laughs> no, you're, you're totally right. I mean, in art rage, usually like when I'm painting, the at least half the time I'm on the, the palette, not the canvas. And uh, in art rage, you, your your palette time is zero. You know. Love that. You're just always painting, so yeah, digital speeds things up for sure. Someday they'll have a machine that you can play back an art rage script into the machine and it paints it for you. <laughs> <laughs> like real strokes. That'd be cool. That would be sweet. Oh, that would be awesome. Clarence McMillan said um, he has assignments given weekly, like for the, what you're doing right now, Daniel. He doesn't know where to post him. Should he post him on, should I tell him to post him on his profile in CCE or something like that? Yeah, I'm posting post his profile and then tag the post with the Digital Painting 101 and we'll find it there. Yeah, do the hashtag, you know, pound. Okay. I'll write that down. Then. Sweet, thanks, man. Hey, Dave, digital painting one word? Yeah, I'll put it in the chat, Mom. All right, cool.
Oh, cool. Let me set up my tablet now. Practice some art rage. Another thing that's hard about this one is the last big painting I did, you know, was big but smaller, and then there was a lot more saturated and almost pure color in the painting. This one is a lot of nuanced grays. There's like a, a beige turning slightly warm green, and then there's a kind of a, a, a crimson gray that's just barely turning uh, auburn, you know, and then and it's a lot of nuanced color making is a, a tough one to just bang out, you know, especially when I have to make uh, like younger size cup holes of paint for each. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of mixing, a lot of definitely yeah. a lot of extra work going on in this phase compared yeah. to the other one, yeah. Yeah, this one is this one's not for the light not for the faint hearted. This would be in the the fourth book. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is the one that teaches you to pull your hair out. So. After, I would guess within five minutes from now, there'll be a big pile of various colors of muddy grays all over my palette, right? And then it should be easier to, or more quicker to derive the colors I need once I have all these different stuff piled everywhere. You know? all right, right. A little bit of that, you know? Right now, I'm still holding the palette for the canvas. Yeah, that's something that that would drive me nuts to have to do all that. I'm like, so I'm so I'm so digital. I'm just like, <laughs> I would have no patience for that. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'm getting messy now. Or like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Danley, you should open up this hangout so people can come in. If you want, it'll be cool. People. Sure. Um, if you want, so it's, yeah, it's pretty yeah, cool. cool. All right, I'm gonna see what can how can I do this. Do send it to my circles? Yeah, your circles. Let people interact with you. People are interested in the comments. They might right. not be. They might not be circled back. Some of those people. Yeah, I just invited them. We'll see what happens. And, and at least uh, then it'll open the doors for a more interesting conversation about you guys. I got my tablet ready. Doing some art rage? Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Well, on Tuesday, we're going to do a, a sweet art rage class. So, <laughs> I'll try and do my homework tomorrow. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I'm, I might do this one with you guys. Cool. He can show us who's boss. <laughs> no way, no way. <laughs> what you going to draw?
Hey, Hermine. Hey, who's painting? Daniel, hey, you're painting? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a slow start, but I've been having too much time, too much fun talking. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry we haven't done a hip yet. I can hardly hear you, I'm sorry. Dave, can you hear me all right? A little bit. Yeah, I, yeah, I hear you. Okay, you're, you're, the mic is like picking up a lot of weird stuff, but I can still understand what you're saying. Okay. It's probably just a crummy mic on the tablet thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a headset next time. Hey, Dave. Hello. Mohammed. Hey, Irene. How are you? Not bad. I'm taking a break right now. Watching art form. Looks kind of cool. How he's doing it. Yeah, Dave, it makes sense for him to do his left hand and right hand because if he does that every painting, he'll have an abnormal hands. He'd look like Popeye in one arm. Popeye in one arm, exactly. <laughs> it's amazing to me that he can even switch. <laughs> I mean, do you draw? Uh, no, I have no talents artistically. No talents artistically? None. We can, we'll change that for you. Digital <laughs> painting 101. Right. <laughs> I can make some nice, nice PowerPoint presentations. That's talent. It's nothing that anybody should be proud of <laughs> whatsoever. Okay, let me open Art Rage. Oh, I got the demo. Yeah. So, this is being recorded as well? Yeah. Well, again, it's worth keeping. But, um, the cool thing about, if you want to feel like real oil painting, set your loading on your brush to like 6%. Six or sixty? Would you say? Uh, like, like four or six. Forty-six percent? No, 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 just just four. Four percent on the loading? And that's that's what it feels like. Oh, because you gotta yeah. keep yeah, <laughs> you gotta keep putting more. <laughs> Do you guys know how the bamboo pin works? Like the buttons? It's kind of cool. There's no battery. There's nothing. Yeah, it uses like it's got like an RFID chip in it or something or like that. And the button changes the ship identification or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I read about it once and now I don't remember. There's no way to increase a brush, right? In what like, art range? I mean, instead of going b bottom corner, there's no keyboard shortcuts. You could probably uh, does your your does your bamboo have like a, a strip on the side or no? Yeah. You could probably, there's probably a setting in ArtRage to configure that to either map it to the keys that make the brush bigger and smaller, or actually, I don't know if ArtRage has a direct option for that, but it, I'm sure it has keys, a key sequence that does it, and then you can just map the bamboo to be those keys. Oh. I'm just playing around now. Like in Photoshop, it's like the bracket keys make the brush bigger and smaller, so I've mapped the strip to the brackets. <laughs> like going up makes it one bracket, and going down gives it a different bracket. And then looking at like shift control bracket as what um, softens the edge of brush, does the hardness. Oh, is, it, is, it, is it brackets also in ArtRage? I just wonder if that, in Photoshop, it's shift control with the brackets that Oh, maybe. I always I always leave the softness pretty much the same. Hey Vincent, if you're still watching the live stream, if you want to mute that so or mute your mic so we don't hear ourselves talking back to each other.
This is an interesting one. Have you guys seen this artist? Is this typical? Are, um, I see, saw them on eBay auctioning off their paintings there. Starting bid and... What, that artists are auctioning their paintings off? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I guess it's kind of having your own art auction. Yeah. It's so cool. This water brush, oil brush, it loses... Um, it acts like oil brush for real. Yep. Hey, Vincent, I'm muting you because you still have the live stream, I think, playing back, and we're hearing ourselves. Oh, 16 by 20. Let me draw something. What size is, oh man. I like when you mix colors in Outrage, that's pretty cool. For me in Outrage, the big breakthrough was seeing how to use the palette knife to blend stuff. Palette knife, palette knife, palette knife, here it is. Yeah, so like I'll have two different colors next to each other like on the painting and then if you take the palette knife and kind of you can make them smooth transition between the colors and stuff like that. What do you do? You just go up and down? Yeah, just mess around with it, play around, see how it blends it, how it makes it smooth, you know, how it blends the two colors together. Hmm. That's cool. By the way, my, my speed issue got resolved for some reason. I don't know how, but now it's, for some reason, it's working great now. Oh, the delay on the tablet or whatever? Yeah. Might have been just a reboot. It, I tried it last time. It's, I don't know, something else changed. Hmm. I just turned on antivirus. <laughs> it turned it on or off? On. And it started working. <laughs> maybe, maybe it found a, a virus somewhere. Second. Well, the cops are coming. <laughs> Got a lot of San Antonio in the downtown. So in Art Rage, if you the the paint will always stay active 
even if you come back after three days and and smudge the paint, it will still be like still watery, right? There's no time effect to it. Yeah, yeah you can change it to instant dry if you want. Yeah, I want realistic dry based on the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> I am painting in Florida at 70 degrees. I want to do <laughs> <laughs> But if you want to, like, if, if you wanted to just to, to your new brush stroke to ignore the currently existing stroke, you have two solutions. One is to either create a new layer. I don't really recommend that. Um, but the, the better option is to select dry paint option on the settings of the brush. The other thing you can do is you'll notice that if you take, say, the palette knife and you drag it across a bunch of you see, put down a blue mark, a blue brush stroke. And you drag it across, drag it across, drag it across with the palette knife. Eventually, the medium gets stretched out or, or played out enough uh, that it effectively becomes dry. And you'll even see that if you kind of try to work over it once it's kind of expired, it'll start to thin and become almost white. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. I like this. <laughs> there, there must be also a setting to just dry everything on the canvas at, like, in, at one point in time, isn't there? There's got to be. You know, I, I assume there is. I've never looked for it. My, my quick solution for that was like, ah, oh, new layer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I like using a lot of layers. But that's the Photoshop in me. I know it, man. And here's, here's the reason I don't is because uh, I'm in love with the direct painting style of oil painting. Mass, you know, everything happens together. And for me, the magic you know, in painting is what happens where, say, if you're painting the orange, what happens... Where it meets the background. Yeah, where, where they start to interact. And where you, when you have total control of that, where they really are interacting, but they... Um, but it's you, you decide how, you know. I think when they're on different layers, it's hard to get them to truly interact. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Hey, Cliff. Hi. Hi, Cliff. Hello, How are you? I forgot I had myself muted. Hey, Cliff. How are you? How are you, man? Good, good. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, cool. But yeah, on Tuesday is the day that we'll all get together and do art rate stuff, so hopefully you can all make it. Tuesday's our class? Yeah. We should go back to Tuesday. Is that good? Is that when we... I don't even remember anymore. As long as it's not that same night as the Wednesday. It's not as long as it's not Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was Wednesday. I got shifted to Wednesday somehow, and it was a bad idea. Yeah, Tuesdays works. Yeah. So, Dave, what did you do this weekend, man? I I watched uh, a lot of football, and I will go back to the Steelers game that I paused to come in here. Wait, you don't know the, game, the result of that game? The Steelers game? No. It's still going. Um, but I don't know... I'm, I don't know who's winning or not at this point. It was halftime when I came in here. Okay. 
I'm curious because I'm, you know, Colorado guy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, well, when I, when I, um, half, going into halftime, um, Denver was beating them heavily, so. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was like 17 nothing or something. Or 17-6 or something. All right, I won't tell you the score, but I'm going to go look it up. <laughs> That and the Giants destroyed Atlanta today, which is awesome. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. All right, I'm not going to tell you what's going on. <laughs> Vincent's asking if the model if the model is a person you know, and I I'm pretty sure it is. It's so it's, it's based off of a photograph Vincent that Daniel took of his friend Comet, I think her name is. Is that the same girl? Yeah. 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 So, Dave, we're gonna have to do another chat because we got some ideas that are in by it sometime. Okay. I'm all, I'm all, I'm always around, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, so what do you say we go out to the end of the Bronco game and maybe catch up a little later? Yeah, sounds good. I think I'm going to take a shower, too. <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty disgusting right now. <laughs> Football games. Yeah. All right, man. It was nice seeing a draw, Daniel. It's pretty cool. Yeah, next time I'll do a little smaller one so I can make a little more progress. This thing is as big as I am. <laughs> Literally, it's, in, it's enormous. So, um, yeah. can you draw with two hands, like one, like multitask? That'd be impre- that'd be impressive. <laughs> yeah, speed painting, two hands. At the I same time. That one. It's on the same canvas, but I, I would fail miserably if it was on two separate canvases. Even on the same canvas is pretty damn impressive. You, you know, you can always see, you can throw the, the left hand on, like, um, patrol and just have it kind of masking in a big area. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you guys are awesome, and we'll see you, see you later, man. All right, dude. See you guys. Bye. See you, man. See you later, Daniel. Bye. Thank you for joining. You too. Take care. Yeah, see you.